the headline grabbing developments have to do principally with the dispute between the CJA as majority owners of CPBL, the processing plant, and banks holdings, mm -hmm. the minority owners, but minority owners that have operational control, that have a veto power as a consequence of an agreement, an arm's length agreement, that those who are in control of CJ signed at the time. CJ is indicating that together with another foreign private sector investor strategic partner, it can raise the money to buy out banks holding shares. They need certain letters of comfort and assurance from government. They need for us to do certain things to facilitate that borrowing and we will be very happy to do it. It is obvious without without pointing fingers and without seeking to apportion blame that it is going to continue to prove impossible for CGA and banks holdings to work together as long as those two remain the major players, the major owners of CPBL and are deadlocked there is, it's a, it's, a, it's a recipe for continuing chaos. I believe that it is absolutely accurate that Bank Solings has said, buy me out. And I think that same investment agreement provides for the ability of one side to buy out the other. If the money is raised, if the new strategic partner comes in and Bank Solings exits, clearly there will be a new relationship. The, 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 there will be a new paradigm in the industry. CPBL will then not only be majority owned, but will be operationally controlled by CGA and their new partner. The, the atmospherics then, or the atmosphere which gave rise to this continuing deadlock and dispute would have been eliminated. There is, of course, a subset of issues having to do with big grower, small grower, uh, tensions. But I think those, the solutions to those will fall fairly naturally into place since CPBL is the only game in town with respect to the processing.